Hello, my name is Weird Al Yankovic. Last week, I got, I got this strange call from Penn and Teller. They wanted me to fly to Las Vegas so they could sell me a hotel. It's beautiful, Al. You're going to love it. I tried to go take a look at it today, but they wouldn't let me see it in the daytime. Oh, it's so much more romantic in the moonlight. It's gonna be a license for you to print money, Al. Uh, yeah. They said it was conveniently located 17 miles from the strip. No competition! It's wide open out there! <laughs> they, they, they said they want me to, to buy it and name it after myself. No, no, the new you! Vegas Al! The song parodyist formerly known as Weird! Yeah. Okay, so here's the number they've written for Vegas Al's Polka Palace. Watch this, Al. Hit it. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? You do any greeting you wanted here. Hey. You like the capes? You paid for them. Pardon us, we slip into something a little more spectacular, huh? <laughs> now this would be you, Al. This would be you in the uh, coat and everything. We take it in a little bit because you're a slightly smaller man. We take it in a little bit, and then I think uh, I think we're probably going to open with a uh, with a joke. See, this would be your accordion, and you'd be the whole thing. It'd be, it'd be great. The crowd will just love you. Okay. So you want to open with a joke, and a joke that shows that you're a real show-busy Vegas guy. I'm suggesting this joke, but anything you want will be fine. Something like this. You know, uh, I have a villa here in Las Vegas. This is you talking. A villa here in Las Vegas, and I have my very own pool. Now, as many of you know, my hero, Liberace, had a pool that was shaped just like a piano. Well, my swimming pool is shaped like an accordion. It's a 30-foot lap pool. And it's a 100-foot lap pool, and it's a 70-foot lap pool, because it's an accordion. You'll kill with that joke, Al. And then we'll do some music like this, Dr. Stockdale. Hey, this will be you singing. My hotel is new, you know our tabula is rasa. Our maids will play a game of hide and seek with your kielbasa. And if you want to see the strip, we have a telescope up. For transubstantiation, well, we got a Polish popa. <laughs> see now, you got the accordions here. We have uh, Dick, Dick Contino over there who lives right in Vegas. He's cheap. We also have those darn accordions all set up. I think there's a theme going on here. You're associated with accordions, so you do a joke here. You could do I Lost on Jeopardy or one of your big hits, you know, the Amish thing or something. But you could also do a joke. This is what I'm suggesting. See, got, now, the hotel, as you know, uh, has 900 rooms during the week, and it has 1,500 rooms on weekends. Because it's an accordion! Nothing will depress you like those songs by Janice Ian. At Vegas Al's, we dance and sing like Eastern Europeans. At Rio and Bellagio, the tuna fish gets funky. So come, Vegas Al's, buffet and load up on your lucky. Vegas Al's, Polka Palace. We will put you up your chin, you know you won't go broke up. Vegas Al's, Polka Palace. Now it's time for Yankovic. Tell another joke, huh? Any joke you want here, Al? But the one I'm suggesting is one like this. <laughs> I know, it's a good one. You know, we pick you up at the airport. We pick you up in our stretch limo. They can pick up 10 people, or two people, or 67 people. Cause it's an accordion! <laughs> a magic show with tigers. Hey, you know it ain't no biggie. Our Siegfried off and Royski have a blonde by no piggy. Our hotel, it is so safe. The rooms, they don't have no locks. Why would we need security? The only crooks are Polish people. Vegas Al, Polka Palace. All we have is free to beer. We got no cafe mocha. Vegas Al, Polka Palace. Now our sexy dancing girls will dance the Vegas Polka. Hey, you know, uh, Al, there isn't a lot of work in Vegas for polka stripper dancers. So you know these women, you know? You could have a gang shower backstage, and these men could be yours, too. Really, Al, you're going to love it. <laughs> and this would be you out front here. And look at the view from here, Al. <laughs> now, it gets a, little, 
gets a little spicy here, Al, you know? We got the women out on stage and the accordions rocking, so you want to get a little, I don't know, closer to the bone. Let me show you this. <laughs> now, you know, at my hotel, that is to say your hotel, <laughs> wait for it, Del, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> at my hotel, we have condoms. Condoms. <laughs> they fit me, and they fit Dennis Rodman, <laughs> and they fit Dennis Miller. Because they're accordions! No down payment, nothing. Want to buy a hotel? No. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh, but who else is on the show tonight, Stockdale? Uh, 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 let's see, we got Greg Irwin and uh, uh, Sable, the rest. Eric, oh, she... Eric Idle. Eric, oh, Eric Idle. A... Yeah, Monty Python, Eric Idle. Oh, did he, he made a lot of money in Monty Python. I, one would think. Is he a thrifty man? Did he squander it since then? No idea. <laughs> He's probably got some coin. I would think so, yeah, yeah. We could do something. Give me something British, Stockdale. Three, four. Eric Idle's Python Palace. Dress like women, walk real funny. Get attacked by scary bunnies. Okay, something like that. We'll work it up. We'll, we'll, sell, it to, we'll sell it to Eric a little bit later. Okay, great. It'll be Eric Idle's from now on. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. We'll be back.